In this lecture, we're going to look at a concept called osmosis. Now, before we talk about osmosis, it's very important to know what entropy is. So if you're not sure about entropy, check out the link below. So, one of the most basic definitions of entropy is that entropy is the tendency of a system to even out. For example, let's look at system A. This system is composed of two sections connected by a bridge. And we have two molecules on this side and eight molecules on this side. What entropy tells us is that eventually three of these molecules will end up on this side. And that this system will be the most probable system. So we want a system that's even, not uneven, or balanced, not unbalanced. In which we have five molecules here and five molecules here. Let's look at system C. Now, in system C, we basically have a cell, and this cell is surrounded by a semi-permeable membrane that allows water molecules in and out, but does not allow any solid molecules to go in or out. Now, in this cell, however, we have a small hole in the membrane, and this hole is large enough to allow the molecules in and out. So water is going to travel in and out, and so will the molecules. So eventually, according to what entropy tells us, we're going to want to go from system C to system D. That is, we want to travel from this uneven system to this even system, in which we have five molecules on this side, on the inside, and five molecules on the uh, outside. Now let's look at a third system. Let's look at system E. Now in system E, we basically have the same system as above, except now our hole is filled in. So we have a continuous circular membrane. So now we can't talk about the solid molecules going in and out because solid molecules can't go in and out. And that's because of the membrane. The membrane is a barrier to the solid molecules. So we must talk about something else. We must talk about the amount of solid molecules per some given volume. And in fact, that's concentration. So our concentration on the outside, because we have more molecules, is higher than the concentration on the inside. So what will happen? Well, entropy tells us that in this case, the only thing that can move, uh, which is the solvent, the water, will move. And water will travel from the inside to the outside. So our cell will shrink in size and our concentration will increase in size because now we have less volume but the same amount of solute. Now the concentration on the outside will decrease because now we have the same, uh, the same amount but a larger volume, a larger uh, amount of water. And that means eventually our concentrations will equal out. So now let's define osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of solvent, in our case water, from an area of a lower solute concentration to an area of a higher solute concentration. So in the system above, osmosis occurred from the inside the cell into the outside because water moved from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. Okay? Now we could also talk about something called osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is the pressure required to stop osmosis. So for example, suppose uh, we applied some pressure to our cell membrane, and if this pressure equals osmotic pressure, well then no osmosis will occur. No movement of water will occur. And this becomes very important when you're talking about hydrostatic pressure and osmotic pressure in the capillaries of our body. So. The last thing I want to talk about is a formula. And this formula uh, could be only used when we talk about ideal conditions. So ideal solutions and solutions that have very low or small concentrations. Now if you want to look at a problem using this formula, check out the link below. Now, uh, let's look at the formula. The formula basically states that osmotic pressure is equal to molarity of solution times our gas constant, R, times our temperature in Kelvin, times I. Now, I is called a von Half factor, and basically that's the number of particles a single solute molecule breaks into. So, for example, sodium chloride 
breaks into two particles. So for an ideal, for an ideal um, uh, solution, this I would be two.